Hi, we're here today with BorgWarner's eBooster demonstration vehicle. It's a 2015 Ford Mustang with the 2.3 liter EcoBoost four cylinder engine. My name is Brock Fraser and I'm here with Austin Hoke, who is the craftsman of this car build. I mentioned the word eBooster, so let me first describe what that means. It's a compressor driven by a high speed electric motor. The example used on this car is a 48 volt unit and consumes around five kilowatts of peak power. The e-booster is used for very short periods of time, just a few seconds. As a result, the electrical energy consumption is very low. During cruising conditions, even at highway speeds, it rarely or never turns on. We can recharge the battery during mild regen braking, which then means that we're not burning fuel to power an alternator for recharging. And a production intent battery can be very small, about the size of a shoebox. So don't be misled by the large pack we used in our demo. That pack doesn't get recharged during driving. As you can see, we fitted a larger turbocharger and this e-booster. We've chosen to put the e-booster very close to the throttle body. Also, you'll see that we've put it after the intercooler. This is so that the e-booster receives cooler, denser air. Lastly, you'll see a bypass valve that's located in parallel with the e-booster so that the airstream can bypass the booster when it's deactivated. Let me back up a step to when Austin first installed the e-booster on the car while it still had the original equipment turbo. What we got was a diesel-like torque curve. It was really awesome for around town driving. We picked up 85% more torque at 1500, 55% more torque at 2000, and 38% more torque at 2500. But much like a diesel, performance fell off sharply at higher engine speeds. The e-booster runs out of power and flow capacity around 4,500 RPM, and the factory turbo is pretty well spent by 5,000. I've got to admit that this was a great combination for most drivers and an effective demonstration of how to make a downsized engine into an exciting engine. But this Mustang is a sporty car, and for this, we wanted a larger turbocharger also, not just the e-booster. The e-booster takes care of the low end and the larger turbo takes care of the top end. It's quite easy to make big numbers with a big turbo, but you can see from the results of the e-boosted combination that we exceeded the stock torque curve at all engine speeds, bettered the stock torque by around 38%, and made 78% more power than stock at high engine speeds. The abbreviation TTT means time to torque, and it's a measure of response. Let's talk about TTT at 1500 RPM. Now in the case of an automatic transmission, this deficiency is masked by a quick downshift, but with a manual transmission, it's very common to be in the best gear for fuel economy, mash the pedal, and be very underwhelmed. Look at the upper left. The addition of the e-booster cut the time to torque in half at 1500 RPM. This means you can leave the car in the gear that's best for cruising fuel economy, and when it's time to accelerate, you can press the pedal and have satisfying torque in one second instead of two seconds. The results at 2000 RPM were also very impressive. Just look at how quickly we rise to 400 foot-pounds. The V8 comparison speaks for itself. The V8 is the winner below 1900 RPM, but from there up, we make 45% more torque in the mid-range and we make 12% more top end power. Let's summarize with the help of a final chart showing some color-coded rankings. The 2.3 liter does a marvelous job of achieving balance between performance and downsizing enabled economy. The V8 makes great torque, power, and unbeatable response. But this case in the middle column, this case of the e-booster with the upsized turbo, we've got better torque, better top end power, better time to torque than the stock turbo i4, and superb fuel economy. And that's the punchline here. Best of both worlds and a real downsizing enabler, performance and fuel economy. Thanks for watching this video about BorgWarner's e-booster product and our 48 volt e-boosted demonstration vehicle.